When we launched this show about 16 months ago, this was the kind of story I had in mind. Uh, the Royal Kew Gardens are set to hold an exhibition called Queer Nature at the end of the month. The event promises to break the binary and challenge traditional expectations by showing how fungi and plants have a special connection to the LGBTQ community. Can you explain to me how this makes any I fucking just, sense? Yeah, I just don't understand where the correlation is going to be here. And I just don't understand why everything needs to be tampered with. So are they saying mushrooms are gay? Yeah, because there's not mushroom. Oh, God. Queer nature to me is, is basically a very apt description of nature. For me, queer nature is about rethinking how we see the world around us and our place in it. Viewing the world of nature as queer is an act of freedom and liberation. I'm deeply confused. We even listened to what they were saying. <laughs> I'm how? sorry, but Michael had something on his phone and it distracted me and took my concentration away. It was one of your bogeys. <laughs> how could nature be gay? Isn't being Happy. homosexual like... Almost exclusively a human thing. I know there's some animals that have gay sex, but... Wait, so are they trying to say that plants can be gay? Something to do with expression. Like it's not really, it wasn't making sense. It didn't make any sense what they were saying. They were just talking out of their arse again. Right. I know that plants are living things, but no one, and no one can tell me otherwise, no one can tell you what a plant is thinking and feeling. You know if a plant's dying, you know if it's growing, it's alive, whatever. But you can't say, that plant is sad, that plant is gay, that plant is on its period. Do you know what I mean? It's just... Maybe a bunch of... just making stuff up. Maybe a bunch of gay dudes are walking out of their dicks out and they're tapping the plants on the head and then the plant becomes gay. Maybe they're just spraying the plants down. Or you know? maybe they tap the plant on the head and then it blossoms. Yeah, <laughs> all the colours of the rainbow. <laughs> well, the event promises to bring together horticulturalists, scientists, authors and drag artists, even featuring a performance from a bearded lady and a DJ who will play queer sets. My question for all this is why? But let's get into the weeds of the debate with OutKick host Tommy Lahren and the comedian James Barr. James, welcome back. Sorry, did you launch this show with the idea of talking about gay mushrooms? Yes. That's why you launched if this. I have you some gay mushrooms here. Minister, you just wanted Ooh, to do a segment thank you. about queer mushrooms. Thank you for teeing, teeing up my gay mushrooms. Wow. They don't look very gay. Wow. I and mean, they look like normal mushrooms to me. Well, Are you feeling a gay connection to these mushrooms? Listen, I feel a gay connection to a lot of things, Piers, including yourself right now. Really? I, um, I would say that mushrooms scientifically have about 23,000 different genders. So that's where this exhibit... What? We're now at a point where mushrooms have different genders. Am I missing something here? I thought gender was a, a social construct or a human construct. Oh. Do you think it's because mushrooms look like dicks sometimes? So if you have loads of mushrooms next to each other, rubbing up against each other, they're technically gay. That's why the Hodge twins say, look at my mushrooms. How there. do mushrooms look like dicks? You get them... Oh, it's going to sound mad, hard. They look more like tits. Mushrooms look more like tits? Yeah, like... What kind of tits have you seen? Because it's just more like a, a round thing with a pokey thing. No, the, you've got the shaft and then yeah. the head. Ah. Uh, what kind of breast are you looking at? No, I'm just... You know, you like, Sabi ended no, up no, on some no, 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 dark no, no, side of porn. No, 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 no. <laughs> Nothing sexual about mushrooms. What? Sex is not about mushrooms, no. Uh, so why are we having some we... queer celebration of things like mushrooms? I just don't understand why you care. Why is this such a problem? I care because I don't see the pants of it. <laughs> because, well, it's We've just had, pride, we just had Pride Month where the entire month oh, was God. taken up with turning everything LGBTQ and now it's two plus something else, right? It's extended. Listen. Right. So letters I can't even remember. The rest of the year is Why straight. does Kew Gardens have to go queer? I don't get it. Why can't it? And Why it, should it? it? Well, because Why can't we just have straight plants? Because I say what it's doing, it's making queer people feel happy. And ultimately, isn't something... Sorry, but society shouldn't just be about thing? changing everything so that you, James Barr, get your kicks out of looking at a kinky mushroom. I've, I've got to wonder <laughs> if gay people are not in, feel s insulted by this in some way. It, this, is, this seems like... Childish almost. That's what I'm thinking. It almost seems satire because how is this a real conversation? When you think of it, everything that's going on in the world right now, how are we sitting here having a conversation about a mushroom being gay? Like you've got a cost of living crisis going on. 
You've got bloody just stop oil protesters trying to protest for things that they think is 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 going to change the planet. You've got what we think is an alien invasion, yet people are discussing mushrooms are gay. Uh, let me ask the gay people in the crowd, right? Like honest answer. Uh, do you feel that excluded that Q Gardens throwing a gay mushroom party makes you feel better? Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm missing something here. But if you feel if you feel that kind of way about it, that this makes you feel happy, then okay, maybe there is a problem. But this seems childish. I would feel insulted if they did this. Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm so I'm I'm several mixes, so I can't pick one. Let's say just for black people, right? Q Gardens is throwing a. I don't even know what you would call it. Uh, I don't know. A Hennessy party for black people. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. So does this mean that pasta is straight? No, oh, pasta's all twirly. No, spaghetti straight. But then when you cook it, because... Why, why, why did you ask me that? Because if we're talking about just anything now, seeing as we're looking at mushrooms being gay, spaghetti straight. I think you. I think you're losing your mind. I don't know. What but you're I'm about. just trying to put it into perspective how ridiculous it is. Oh, okay. To be referring to an item, a plant, or a food as being straight or gay. I would just love. I would love to meet the people that come up with these decisions. Like they they go to their board meetings in the morning. They're like, do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make Kew Gardens gay because. Gay plants resonate with the LGBT community. It's like, what? what? I can only imagine a sane gay person sitting there going, what is, what is going on? Just people like everybody else. Just want to come to Kew Gardens and look at the plants. The plants ain't got to be rainbow. If that's what makes you feel better, then you've got much Are they going to make the plants rainbow? They'll probably kill them, right? They spray the plants with rainbow. I'm sure they'll just or put they'll, flags everywhere. You know? Or they, they'd plant like... Red flowers, yellow flowers, green, make a rainbow like that. That would look quite sick, to be fair. Well, we won't be going Kew Gardens. Listen, you might want to spend your life being miserable, but I'll tell you what really I'm is happening. I'm very happy. I'll tell you what's actually what happening. Like yesterday, you lost an NTA to a gay man, so you've decided to find any story you can to attack queer people because you want to get your own back on Graham Norton. I hadn't actually thought of that. That's exactly yes. what's happening. It, it is true. It is entirely it's Graham Norton. Sad. It's entirely Graham Norton's sexuality that enraged me. Uh, let's bring in Tommy Lahren. Uh, Tommy, I just don't know where we start with this. Kew Gardens is at the, is at the epicentre <laughs> well, hey, of British heritage, the establishment. It's like you go there with your mum and dad, you take your cucumber sandwiches and you look at lovely plants. What you don't do is think about their sexuality or 23,000 genders or have a queer celebration of mushrooms. What is happening? Just before Tommy speaks, I will say that I don't actually give a shit about Kew Gardens. I've been there once. I I was very bored when I went there. The only time it was ever remotely okay was during Christmas, and I was literally looking at it through pictures, so I don't even know what the experience was like. So it's not like I'm going home upset because Q Gardens has decided to make some weird move to turn everything rainbow. It is weird, and I do find it a bit childish that anybody would... What? I don't know. I don't know what I want to say. It's just ridiculous. It is ridiculous. I, I've never been Kew Gardens. I've always wanted to go, but I You're bought tickets for my mum and dad to go. You're not missing out. Just fucking no, plants I like, everywhere. Yeah, but I like flowers and stuff. I'm a woman. You like gay flowers? Yeah, I like all flowers. You like gay flowers? Gay flowers, straight flowers. What's a gay flower? Non-binary flowers. Whatever flowers are out there, I like it. I just don't really like lavender. <laughs> <laughs> or lilies. That shit stains your clothes. Lilies? Yeah. You never had a lily touch one of your clothes and it's stained. Uh, uh, the only f plant that ever touches me for some reason is sting nettles. <laughs> that shit hurts, man. I was running. I was I was on a jog with my mate and we I ran into sting nettles. You should have seen the way I was running. I was like, legs all over the place. Like a proper... <laughs> oh, I can't say that. <laughs> 
Well, I'll tell you this. What concerns me is if there are 23,000 genders for mushrooms and fungus, I'm a little concerned because the LGBTQ plus barbecue is already too long for most Americans and most people to memorize. So now if we have 23,000 genders added to that, I'm not sure we want to take our cue from plants. But you hit the nail on the head, Piers. Why does everything have to be about queer this, gay that? Why is that the only thing that leftists seem to respond to? It's either race gender or climate change race gender climate change that's it everything has to be gay everything well, we has to be have about had, race we have everything had a has whole... to be about the planet yeah there has been a whole debate she missed toxic masculinity that's mm. one of their favorites as well race climate change gender toxic masculinity and then they got their favorite buzzwords lived experience um Andrew Tate. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Tate it needs to be in that lineup. The, the thing about this, James, is I just, I just don't see the point of it other than to wind people up, which I think you're almost admitting. No, like, absolutely not. It's not winding anyone. But it's imagine, winding if you I, up. imagine if I announce tomorrow we're going to go down to Chelsea Flower Show and we're going to have a straight day yeah. where straight people like me will go. Straight people like me, who, by the way, for the record, are not remotely homophobic, right? Go down to Chelsea Flower Show and we make. Everything about the straight you did, you sexual that, you affinity. Did, you did just Hang say on. Graham Norton's sexuality Hang enraged you. So. No, no, it was obviously a joke. Was it? Well, you, you made a stupid, be, facile point about his sexuality. Interesting. But I don't care whether he's gay or not. Still don't get uh, why James, look, James and Piers are obviously friends. There's no way he's had this clown on this many times without them being friends. They're boys. This is just, this must be for the cameras. Or it must be like a, maybe they're not friends, but they both understand that them on a panel together gets people yeah, watching. I mean, when they're talking now, you can see there's a level of like, they laugh together, they joke. And I think someone like James probably does know in that instance that Piers was joking, I but just so. wants to flag it up anyway, just to prove a point. I don't know. Like, yeah. We're not homophobic, but you can't discuss these things without people calling you homophobic when you're not. You're just looking at a situation and just thinking, this is ridiculous. Like we can go out for dinner with a gay person and have a lovely time. But you don't need to be making mushrooms, have 23,000 genders, and you just... Yeah. It's, I'm sorry, it's not homophobic. It's just that, like... I, I'm not going to go to Kew Gardens, okay? I'm going to be at home playing Mortal Kombat. Sabi's going to be doing whatever she's doing. Life is going to go on. I don't care that much. It's just weird. And I would just <laughs> like to know if somebody can comment and, and maybe tell us does this make you feel included? Because to me, this comes across as childish and condescending. What is being celebrated mm -hmm. here exactly? I'm, I'm confused. Also, like what Piers is saying, like if we were to make a straight event out of flowers or whatever, everyone's then still going to call that homophobic. But why can they enjoy it and we can't? Yeah, it's like... Why should we be pushed to the side? It's, <laughs> I don't think we're being pushed to the side. It's just, it's just weird. It's like if we went to dinner with a gay person, right? Mm -hmm happy to go to dinner i mean they're not they're, they're just people like us so mm. we could eat with them you know they haven't got mm. the lurgies or something but then if they pulled out a spray paint because their napkin was white they started spraying it down all the different colors of the rainbow then i said to them hey what the fuck are you doing and then they called me homophobic that's the level of dumb that i feel like i'm dealing here with like when you're doing stupid things or stupid things are happening but around you and you're like this is dumb and then you get called homophobic but if they wanted to do that, why, why, why do you feel the need to question it? If I'm sitting at a dinner table with you and you're spraying a napkin. If I'm... Okay. If I, if you, if I sat at a dinner table with you and you pulled out a spr uh, spray You sat pan. at a dinner table with me and you started drawing Pikachu on your napkin. I'm not going to say, Michael, what are you doing? Oh, he likes no, Pikachu. He wants no, to draw uh, Pikachu. No, but it's... Okay, there's a difference between Pikachu and no. an activism flag. No, not really. Yes, because there is. that's their life. That's what they're their um, main topic and focus is like you go on a day-to-day -day thinking about anime. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be honest here. We're all adults. Okay, allow me to yeah, be honest. Yeah, you think about Mortal Kombat and all them things there. Okay. So if they want to think about that stuff, no, no, what's no. the issue? That's their life. That's Sabi, their way of life. If I went to dinner with you and started mm. drawing Scorpion's Spear or Sub-Zero's Ice Clone everywhere we went to make my point that I like anime... You eventually you'd be like, can you be can you behave? Like, what are you doing? Not really. If Everywhere you're, if you're we provocative. go. What? Fish your prerogative. I, I said provocative. <laughs> <laughs> if I everywhere we went, like, it's like, all right, who's your brother support Arsenal? Yeah. 
Everywhere Listen, no, football hooligans or something else, they're getting it, tatted on them, they're doing the most of it, but no one will say anything to them. What do you mean? I cuss them all the time. Well, I but it's a bit more normal. Yeah, no, I'm not saying that. Obviously, you're at a pride parade, you're, you're waving your flags, it makes sense you're at a pride parade. But if I'm going to dinner with you mm. and you pull out a little flag and put it next to your plate, I'm just like, relax, take a day off. We're eating. Right, if we go to dinner every single time, and every single time I pull out a figurine of Vegeta and put it next to me, just to make the point that I like anime, you'd think I'm a fucking weirdo. Can I be honest? No, I want you to tell lies only. No, I will be honest and say I can understand your point. Yeah. That you're getting at, but things like that don't bother me. It's, it's, I really don't care what you pull out on the table. Do your thing. Don't bother me. If you want to bring up. Or, or show, bring your, carry your picture around your pocket and put it on the table wherever you go. That's what makes you happy. That's what floats your boat. You do you, Michael. I will support you every step of the way. No, you're capping. No, I'm not. Cap- no, Sabi. I'm not. Well, we got to eat. What? Oh, my God. You're doing it again. You're telling me how it. I think and feel. Has someone ever done it? Huh? Has someone ever done that? Done what? Every time you go out to eat, they pull out some shit to represent some part of their personality. No, but it wouldn't bother me because I'm not triggered by what other people do. I don't care how other people live their lives. As long as it's not impacting me, why do I care? Why do I care? Why do I care? Answer me. Well, I care because we're going out to eat and you're bringing up your your activism bullshit and we're trying to enjoy a meal. Why are you out with me if we're trying to enjoy a meal? Okay, so you're out for dinner. Yeah. And your gay friend has put his little flag on the table. I go yoink. But he's not, no, leave it. No. Yeah. And he's not talking about, he's not doing nothing. He's just got it on the table. Why is that bothering you or changing or affecting your meal? Because he's put a flag on the table. Because I'm not you. And if you put a flag on the table while we eat, I'm going to say to you, why is that flag there? And he's going to give me some stupid answer. I'm going to remove it. Not where I'm eating. That's rude. No, it's rude to put your fucking flag there while I'm eating. Why is it rude? Why are you putting your flag there while I'm eating? Why is it bothering you? We go to a restaurant... And yes. my man sticks a little pride flag on his napkin okay. while I'm eating. I'm going to say to him, for what reason have you done that? For what are you trying to make a point? We're out. We're eating. We're not out of rally. So? You're not trying to push some activism BS. Eat your fucking food and I'll take you home. Okay. So if we go out for dinner. Yeah, not do that. Can I'll I finish? Fling it across the table. Can I finish? That's what she said. Go on. If we go out for dinner <laughs> and I've got um, plates of food, yeah? And I want to sit there and I want to organise it and eat my food in a particular order. Is it going to bother you the way I eat my food? It might. I'll give you an example. I went out to eat with my friend. I won't say her name. And she started eating a hot dog with a knife and fork. That bothered me. The fuck are you eating a hot dog with a knife and fork? I eat pizza with a knife and fork. Pizza's annoying. I eat a burger with a knife and fork at times. If it's a gigantic yeah, burger. Yeah, the big ones. and yeah. Right, this was just a normal hot dog. So? Maybe you still want to get your fingers dirty. Your fingers are, like, not that sanitary. Okay, does, does nothing bothers you. Huh? Nothing bothers you. Nothing irritates you. If you were sitting there chomping really loudly, making so much noise when you eat, that would bother me. So but that's because it's distressing to my ears. So if we're eating, yeah, and mm. I'm like... In your face like this. No, that's the huh? But maybe that's how I drink. Okay, so look, that's the way you're drinking. Yeah. That's that's involving me. But me going like this on the table, that's not bothering or affecting you. Do not. If I'm eating my food and you've randomly gone, I'm gonna be like. <laughs> so why is that there? Because I want it there. Well, I don't want it there. Move it. But it's not affecting you. Move it, I'm going to throw it. It's not affecting I'll you. I'll throw that or I'll throw Throwing you. it is very disrespectful. That's my item. Remove it. Are you going to pick up my handbag and throw it? I'll throw you. You're going to throw me? I'll throw you. For putting an item that I like on the table. You yeah. think that's fair? I'm eating. I'm never going for dinner with you, ever. In my life. <laughs> but let's go back to the Chelsea Flower Show. If I had a straight day or a straight week at the Chelsea Flower Show and started talking about the straight heterosexual affinity that we all felt with fungi and daffodils, you would go completely nuts. I really would. And I said, look at these white, straight gammon abusing us in this manner, Listen, excluding us in this manner. If you and Tommy want to set up a straight mushroom exhibit 
with loads of straight, grey, boring, binary mushrooms. So why do we got to be boring? <laughs> Look at Tommy's face. She's just locked in, a, in her, she's just, she's flabbergasted. She's just sitting there like. She's like the female version of um, Douglas Murray. Yeah, he, he, he was just like, I, but that's how I, that's how I am most of the time when I sign on to the uh, Instagram or Twitter or whatever. I always see some shit and I'm just like, really? Is, is that what we're doing today? Are we being that retarded today? It never fucking ends. Now mushrooms are gay. What's next? Think your your, your glasses. shirt is gay. You think my shirt is gay? <laughs> this this shirt's sick. You guys seeing this? This is a side. My glasses duck. are sick. They're Kylie Minogue, thanks. They're definitely gay then. <laughs> Isn't Kylie Minogue gay? Is she? Oh, I don't even that's know news she, to me. You're just know. that's how rumors start. I don't even know who she is. You're just making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> I've heard the name before. Waving, I'm not doing it. Waving guns around, like James, go for it. I'm not doing it. It's it's your community that's it's doing not, it. Listen, you're the one that's hosting a debate on an international platform about mushrooms. Yes, gay mushrooms. Because the event is happening. Gay mushrooms. When, when I was I'm younger, not calling them gay said, mushrooms. What do you want to do? I don't think older? mushrooms and can I said, be you know gay. What? I want to defend queer it's mushrooms. It's not a gay mushroom. Look, you just eat it like a mushroom. <laughs> What? Wow, I hope you enjoyed They're that. not poisonous. Can you not get poisoned from eating a raw mushroom? Mushrooms are so disgusting. My man put the whole tip in his mouth. <laughs> nah, Piz, you're wild for that, bro. No, but I swear it's poisonous to eat if you don't cook it. I'm sure that his team gave him, didn't. That ain't him. no cooked mushroom. That's raw as fuck. Excuse I'm, my French. Yeah, I'm sure they didn't try to kill Piz. Piers tried to kill Piers. <laughs> He's had enough of James. <laughs> I don't know why James is huffing and puffing. Surely they must have told him. And surely, after being on the Piers Morgan show for the thousandth time, you must have known Piers was going to be talking about some bullshit. You must have known. Right? Have we really run out of topics to talk about that? That this is what the world's coming to, that we're talking about game mushrooms? Yeah, hey, someone's got to talk about it. People are covering all sorts of problems. You know, there's problems in China, World War III's on the horizon. They're talking about COVID again. But I know this mushroom's gay. You know you're well, now queer because you can catch queerness from a mushroom, by the way. Tommy. That's I just, I think, Tommy, my overriding view, like you said, everything has to be reduced to this kind of stuff. It is pandering, virtue signaling nonsense. But what worries me is that the corporate world, like Kew Gardens and their management, they get sucked into this. They think it's a good idea. Whereas I can imagine lots of people who attend these events will be thinking, what is going on? Why are they doing this? Yeah, I think it's just out of step with most most people. I don't know why everything has to be about sex, sex and sexual preference. It doesn't make sense to me. I don't think most human beings go about their day worried about the gender of a mushroom or a fungus or what gender they prefer to sleep with. I don't know why everything has to be reduced to this. Can we all just go about our lives? It hasn't been until 2020, I believe, that everything had to be about how you identify and what pronouns you use. Can't everything just be as it is without having to dissect the the heterosexuality, their homosexuality, or the queerness of everything, give everything some kind of a queer rating. I, I, totally, why do you keep I totally agree. Why do you keep talking about it? We're they running are. out of time. James, final question, and make it a quick answer. What is the gayest plant? <laughs> I honestly, I'm not answering that. Do you know what? All why plants not? are gay. Everyone is, every single person on this planet has different, uh, different ideas. You're not going to name a plant. To celebrate. Is there not one that you think. I, I guess a daffodil's pretty a daffodil. gay. I like a daffodil. A gay daffodil. Yeah. All right. There you go. There's your answer. <laughs> But what I don't understand, right, is that this is all in the pursuit of inclusivity. But what if you're a Muslim family that wants to go to Kew Gardens in that particular month or whenever they're doing it, right? Because Muslims don't fuck with, with this LGBT thing. Mm. So aren't you excluding them? Wouldn't the easiest thing be that we all just walk amongst plants like normal people, right? Gay people, Muslims, Christians, whoever, just walk through the fucking gardens and enjoy the plants. The plants ain't gay, and this makes no sense. And like I said, obviously we're going to go about our business. I'm not going to lose any sleep over this. I just thought it'd be funny to cover this because the title said mushrooms can't be gay. But it just, is a bit weird. If you feel so excluded, Q Gardens ain't going to fix that for you. You're going to go home and feel like shit anyway. Do you know what? I, I want to be like, I'm like one of them people where I just want world peace like i just want everyone to hold hands in a circle and just sway side to side and just be happy well that's never gonna happen yeah never that's never gonna happen <laughs> we're never gonna sing kumbaya together and when we do some idiot will ruin it and we'll go back to killing each other
I hope someone got uh, Piers a glass of water because I couldn't focus watching him just eat that raw mushroom and then not even have a sip of water after. Like, I know that taste was lingering in his mouth. He slurped that down, boy. He he guzzled that real quick, innit? 